Okay, question eight is another starred question, so more written communication being tested here. I'm going to explain our maths as we go. We're told that ABC is parallel to EFGH, GB is equal to GF, and the angle ABF equals 65, as shown. Work out the size of the angle marked X and give reasons for our answer. Okay, so we're going to have to use the properties of angles in parallel lines. Now, hopefully you will recognize what I'm doing here. I'm demonstrating that we actually have something that you might know as a Z angle. Z angles are equal to each other. The only thing is we're not allowed to call them Z angles. So this angle 65 here has to be the same as this angle here, which is 65. And let's just reference that correctly. A B F A B F is equal to B F G B F G and how do we know that because they are what's called alternate angles so I'm going to say that alternate angles are equal So that's the first part. Now I also know, and let's get the highlighter again, let's take a look at this triangle, BFG. B, F, G is a triangle, as we can see, but it's also a particular type of triangle. We have two sides that are the same. That means it's isosceles. And because it's isosceles, that means the base angles are the same. So if that's 65 here, this one has to be 65 also because the base angles in an isosceles triangle are equal. So I can say the angle F, B, G must equal, so F, B, G, that's the angle I've marked black here, must equal B, F, G. And that's because base angles in an isosceles triangle are equal. Okay, now that I know two angles in the triangle, I should be able to get the third one here. So the angle B, G, F, B, G, F must equal, well, the total number of degrees in a triangle is 180. And I need to subtract the two angles that I know. So I'm going to subtract 65 plus 65. 65 plus 65 is 130. So that means BGF must equal 50 degrees. And that's because angles in a triangle add to 180. And then we've got one more piece. We know this is 50. Well, hopefully you can see straight away the angle X is going to have to be 130 degrees. So we say X equals 130 degrees. And the reason why is because angles on a straight line add up to 180. Running out of space here. Um, we should get the full four marks for that. Now, you won't need to put all of these reasons in, but the more you put in, the better chance you have of ensuring that you get those communication marks. It's not the only way to solve this problem. There are others, but for me, this was the most straightforward.